Hey guys, let me turn on my music because it's loud as balls. Killers. Okay. So, hi guys. Uh, I have, I have red hair, as you can tell. I do. And I just want to do a quick video um, about it and how I got it this red because I've had my hair red for about a week. Not, like not even a week, a little bit less than a week. And I've gotten like a lot of cute remarks about it, that it's bright, that's pretty, that it, it is mermaid-ish. <laughs> so I want to just make a quick video on how I got it this red. And I got kitty ears, but I mean, who doesn't? They're backwards too. My cute ears are backwards a lot. Um, so with me, I've got a little basket of stuff that I used. Uh, so to begin with, um, I had um, like half black, half blue hair for the longest time and I had to bleach the black side um, with, I bleached it with quick blue from, I think it was by L'Oreal and I just got the little packet, I got two of those and I mixed it in with Salon Care 40 Ball in Cream. And I know most of you guys are like, oh my god, 40 ball, you can kill your hair. And my hair isn't dead at all. And I've used, it's like halfway through because I've used it a lot. Uh, the lady that works at Sally's actually said I should use it just because I have really, really dark, like my hair is naturally black. And do you want to see a bunny? My bunny is right there. He's so cute. Anyways. Um, yeah, my hair is naturally like really dark and really black, so I had to like, I basically dyed my hair twice. And it did kill my hair a bit, but it's not fully dead. So there was time to recover it. So I used quick blue and I used the right measurements and I mixed this in with that. Um, of course I only used, hi bunny, <laughs> I only used one packet at a time and I bleached my hair twice. And I did my hair purple and then my roots are coming in pretty bad. And the only reason why I dyed my hair red, because I never wanted to really dye my hair red, the only reason why I did is because of prom, because my dress is like red, burgundy, and black. So I figured if I had blue hair, funny, that it would be kind of awkward. Um, so yeah, this time when I bleached my hair, um, I only did my roots, which were a bit over an inch, which was really good for like a month and a half really good. I've been taking biotin pills and they actually work. So what I used to get my hair red after I bleached it with the same L'Oreal Quick Blue, I used Manic Panic Semi-Permanent Hair Cream in Rock and Roll Red. This one. And I used a lot of this one. There's like, I can open it with one hand. There's like a little bit left and it's mixed in with this other dye that I used. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, sounds really good. Yeah. There's like a bit left, and I used majority of that stuff to do my red hair. And forgive my makeup. It looks really, really crappy right now. I'm sorry. So yeah, I used that, and I also used Special Effects Blood Red. And I used a shit ton of this stuff. As you can tell, it's like... Can you tell? It's like up to like here. So... I used a lot of this because I wanted a deep red and my hair actually came out a lot brighter than I expected it to come out, than I wanted it to come out. And I think that's because of the rock and roll red. So I don't care. I like it either way. And I also had to dye my extensions red too. And they were a deepish kind of purple. They were like, well, you, you'll see a picture right now. And um, yeah, uh, they were like a deepish a deepish kind of purple right here and it kind of like faded into like a light and you see? kind of faded into like a light pink hey baby <laughs> and uh, yeah so I did not touch those I didn't bleach those because I knew the hair was already dried and you just never bleach extensions well from what I've heard I've never done it because I don't want to ruin mine so I'm not going to do it God, I'm sorry. I keep getting distracted by my bunny. <laughs> Look at my little bunny tail. So cute. Okay. So, I mixed these two in. And I got this color. And I only used it once. I only did one coverage thing. And it came out 
really good actually. I know Manic Panic never lost and I know that I've heard so many bad replies or response to Manic Panic and how it just fades really easily and how it's just not a good color and, and, and not a good brand in general. But I figured if I used it with special effects, which is like one of the best for um, temporary dyes, um, that it would like last a bit more. So I just mix those two in and voila. Um, I bought another one at Hot Topic. I bought Manic Panics Amplified Pillar Box Red. And I haven't used it yet. I was going to redo my hair because I wanted it a bit darker. But I was supposed to get Vampire Red. But they gave me the wrong one. And that was because... I don't know. But I got a good deal on it. It was like buy two, get one free. Was buy two, get one free. And my friend Brienne... Oh, my earring fell off. My friend Brienne wanted, hold on, she wanted to do purple, so she got two purples and I got the free red. And she got the free red, and, um, and we got a good deal because I got that like $15 off hot cash tinky, and also basically got like a free beanie with that. So it was awesome. Cool beans. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to redo it. If I do, I will let you guys know. But it is a bright red color. And I don't know. I think I'll use it once my hair starts to like fade a lot. I'll use this thing. And, but I don't really want red hair for a long time. I want blue. So who knows. And yeah, so that's it for the red hair basically. Oh. Um, how long I left it in there. That's very important. I put it in there around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night and I slept with it in. And a lot of people are like, no, don't do that because it's bad and blah, blah, blah. But I did because I always do that whenever I dye my hair. I feel like if I leave it in there for a long time, then the color will stay in for a long time and be brighter. And in some cases, that's true. In a lot of cases, that... It's so what people do. It's just, it's just just what they do. And it seems to work. It works for me. And my hair color, I've washed it four times already. And it is still a bright, pretty red. And that may be because of the special effects. But it's still bright red. See? See? And yeah. So to glue in my extensions, which I did end up gluing them in because I probably am going to style it huge for prom. Um, I used Super Bond dish stuff from Sally's which works very well because I've washed my hair about twice in the shower already and it's still tightly in there the corners sometimes like come loose a bit because I like scrub my hair a lot when I'm taking a shower so Whew, sorry so that tends to like come off but I just like redo it a little bit and like stay stay so it stays after I tell it to stay because my hair is obedient like that and you just stop jumping around. See, you just wait. You can't see him. You see him now? I think you can. Ah! Okay. Anyways, that's it for today, and I hope this helped some of you guys. I know this was like just a quick, not really quick, because it's like eight minutes already. But I don't know. I just thought I needed to explain how I did my hair, because I went from purple to red, and it's still pretty freaking red and in the tips it's like a bit not really pinkish but like a fuchsia pink um because it was already lighter color on that spot but yeah if you're feeling adventurous do your hair a different color and you can have colorful mustaches whenever you play with your hair so do that and 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 Blah. Yeah, because I didn't see, I was trying to look for a YouTube video that I had from purple hair to red hair, but I couldn't find anybody who did that, so I was like, hey, I did that. I did that. And maybe other people are going to do that. Who knows? You could have purple hair and need to have red hair in like a week, so. So, my iPod decided to die on me, but that was basically all I had to say anyway. So yeah, have a good day. I hope this helped, and um, stay queer. <laughs>